to bend my mind and break it by force. There is no mathematical definite proof. There is no physical or logical definite proof such that any reasonable and literate person who's gotten a degree, who passes an IQ test above 50%, whereby all those would agree unanimously that there is a God. Our Creator did not choose that for this race, just because of what has just been mentioned. There is a degree of uncertainty left on purpose because our race is not only a computer, a brain, or cells. It is also a morality and a sense of appreciation of what's been done to me. In the Holy Quran, in the first surah, our great Lord says, we have indeed shown the signs to people who have certitude. If the person is capable to allow himself, is Allah, will allow himself to have certitude, meaning will not reject it like the example of the two people passing the house. One of them is just rejecting to see. That one, according to the ayah, if we're now talking about religious matters, does not want to accept to have certitude. The signs have been shown, not by force. There are more reasons for that. We're coming to them one by one. So, we go back now to the results of worship, to the description of worship as ending in love, as the love, the utmost love that leads to total worship and submission and acceptance and obedience. That is not uh, toward a goal of creating a species that will be walking semi-drunk all the time with his love. The, something like that will happen in the hereafter. In this life, nirvana style, drunkenness style, is not the one intended by worship. The pleasures of worship in this life, in this life, are uh, the carrot that keeps encouraging us that keep comforting you you're on the right path as such from this creation and from this sense of worship there ensues responsibility for the person who admitted the love, who have felt the love and reached from this love to this worship, the natural result is responsibility toward the goal. We've touched on the goal already now, appreciation of a lot of stuff from this Creator. This will be mentioned here and there in the whole series. We're starting to touch on it. So, I have a responsibility toward myself. Now, once I have perceived the possibility of the existence of a Creator and refused to run away from considering it because I don't want to be ungrateful if that was the case, I'll give it another thought. I look at it more. What have I got to win? What have I got to lose? Uh, personally, on the personal level, and on the moral level, what have I got to lose and win? 
there will also be responsibility to others such that my actions and my life does not hurt them everybody accepts these uh, principles and does not hurt their strive toward the end that I have nor the goals that they set themselves in life even if they don't believe in my Creator as long as we don't conflict as long as, long as our interests don't overlap and hurt each other that's society by the way some of the uh, exa- um, some of the objections I would say simple simplified objections against religions that include acts of worship and do not want to accept what they know that normally things of value that have taken some effort are usually the most the more appreciated in life Muslims who follow rules do not feel a burden it's weird that the burden of acts of worship especially in Islam is felt by its critics not by Muslims my this is nice and weird Muslims enjoy what people who don't do the actions call them as burdens now we're talking about an issue mostly by Christian preachers who want to increase their flock look why do those things it's not by your actions that you are going to enter paradise I hope they'll stick to that by the way as we'll see very soon now it is not by our actions that we wish to enter that we hope to enter paradise anybody who claims that concerning Islam I won't be I won't use foul language against him I'll just say he is not telling the truth and probably he knows it the anybody who has some um, some professional conscience professional ethics has some PhD in theology and philosophy if he needs to talk about Islam needs to read what Muslims say on this issue if he did not Uh, this is not a person I would want to follow Uh, we'll see soon so it is weird that the cores of acts of worship are felt by people who don't do them and people who do them enjoy them by the way as we will see through the whole series Muslims not only feel the pleasure of these acts of worship the spiritual pleasure the family positive results the social positive results the human positive results even with people from other religions even with the enemy the Quran says push away with the better deeds you will find that the person who was your enemy becomes your best friend that's the approximate meaning yeah we have instructions on everything on on things that people who attack Islam and want to soil your mind would never want you to read would never want you to know so these acts of worship these restrictions fulfill us 
we will see God willing through this series 